Hey, Angelo. Um, thank you for taking the time to talk a little bit more about Anutra. If you can just take a, a couple of minutes and explain a uh, little history about Anutra and why is Anutra standard of, of identity so important to, uh, in the marketplace? Well, the standard of identity is so important uh, for a few reasons. Number one, uh, there's no standard of identity right now for Chia. And uh, there are all different types of Chia. There are good Chias, very, very healthy, very nutritious, and some aren't. And uh, Chia is sold right now in a whole form as well as a ground form. And uh, a lot of people are buying it ground. As a matter of fact, probably 90% of all the sales are made ground. You can take up the entire plant. You can take up the roots. You can take up the leaves, the stem, and grind that along with the uh, seed itself and still call it Chia. Okay? And you have an inferior product. We developed the healthiest form of Salvia Spanica. And Chia is just a slang name that the, uh, the Indians use. But uh, primarily, they don't pronounce it Chia. They call it Chia. The two L's pronounced like a Y. But uh, that's one reason we do it. The other reason is we maximized the nutrition through selection. We didn't use any GMO techniques. We just used natural selection that's been used for thousands of years. And uh, because we were the first ones to do that, we get the uh, distinctive privilege of renaming it. And we call it a Nutra. It's a new cultivar, super cultivar of an ancient grain, Salvia Spatica L. So that's, those are the reasons that we do it. And we're branding that. And uh, it's analogous to what was done years ago with, with a type of wheat. It was a black wheat, and they called it rye. Your pumpernickel is made from rye, and it's really a form of wheat. And barley is a larger kernel. It's also a little sweeter than uh, regular wheat. And somebody developed that through selection. They call it barley. In any event, uh, we do it because we guarantee the nutrition. 